Trauma-informed care is really important. I wish everybody in the planet could learn it um, and put it into practice. Doesn't matter if you're providing services or you're a teacher, if you're a business owner, if you're a grandparent, um, anybody could learn this and put it into really good practice. And I encourage everybody to learn it. Sometimes it's called blood memory is one way I've heard it termed. And that we carry that with us. It's encoded in us generation after generation. And it's another way of looking at intergenerational trauma and also encoded in our DNA is our resilience and culture and survival. Culture is prevention. Our children in their regalia and dancing and laughing with each other is the like best medicine ever. And so even when things are really hard, it's important to come together as community. It's what you learn from your family and your community. And some of those lessons are very specific. Like if anyone asks you that you're Native American, don't tell them you are because they're gonna take you and steal you. That's some people I know what their mothers told them because that's what their grandmothers told them. And I also see that suspicion and that fear coming from boarding schools, which could be two or three generations from that actual person. If your experience in boarding school was a lot of trauma and deep abuse and neglect, when you become a parent, you haven't learned parenting skills. And some people's parents never told them they loved them. And you know, that gets passed down from generation to generation, right? Being harsh with your children, that's not part of our traditional parenting technique. When you're at the doctor's office, oftentimes they're, they just say your name or they're like, the doctor's ready to see you or come on back. And one of the things that I really liked that I learned was when you come up to someone and you say, hi, are you ready? to come back to see the doctor. And just that difference in wording allows that person to make that choice. And I think it can only make you a more compassionate and effective service provider, teacher, you know, whoever you are, parent. There's only good that comes from learning about trauma-informed care and it's vital.